I don't think we we were tired. I think uh, um, you know the style of play that we played tonight. I think was you know the way we wanted to play. And there was a few things that uh, in the second period, um, you know, some turnovers uh, through the neutral zone that you know fueled their transition game. But uh, I think the effort that we gave tonight and the style of play that we played, uh, you know, will go. Um, you know, is, is the way we want to play. Uh, Jeff, what would you say about the chance that Carey Price gave you guys to win tonight? Yeah, I mean, he made some he made some big saves for us to to keep it one nothing, and uh, you know, gave us a chance to to extend the lead. And uh, you know, their goal, goalie played well on the other side. There was, um, you know, I've, in the second period, their uh, galley's line, um, you know, was hounding hounding the puck and and getting getting chances there and. Uh, you know, I think, um, you know, I think both goalies played well. Jean-François Chaumont. Hi, Jeff. Uh, at three against three, uh, you're the only defenseman who touched the ice tonight. Do you like the strategy of going three forwards? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think we have uh, we have a game plan that we we have uh, we have in place that uh, you know we want to try to uh, try to tire them out and and not try to force uh, you know force a play that's gonna you know, result in, a, in, a, in an odd man rush coming back. So, um, you know, when when executed uh, properly, it uh, it can definitely pay off. Julian McKenzie. Thanks, Paul. Um, Jeff, you guys scored on the power play tonight. Uh, you've obviously seen some success with the man advantage since uh, Alex Burroughs took over that responsibility. I was just curious in your own estimation, what do you think is the biggest difference in how your team has gone about working the power play from the beginning of the season to when Burroughs uh, took over as uh, the responsible person in charge of the power play for your team? Uh, I mean, I think it's uh, the compete level that we have on there. I mean, we have to have a, you know, that five on five mentality that, uh, you know, when the pucks bucks loose, we have to outnumber them and, um, or, you know, hound the puck and work hard to, um, you know, get the puck back. And I think, uh, you know, that is, you know, has been ingrained in us since he's come in and, um, you know, we're executing it. We're, we're getting, you know, pucks off the, off the shots and getting them back up to the top and getting back into our setup. And I think that, uh, you know, the more times you can do that and, um, you know, tire out the PK, the, uh, the, you know, better chances you're, you're going to get the results. Three more questions. Richard Abbey. Yeah, Jeff, the team has been uh, struggling uh, this year with, with the OT, um, the shootouts. Uh, is, is there anything you can do differently in order to, to, to change that? Uh, no, I mean, I think it's, uh, you know, the three on three tonight. They had, uh, they had you know, one to hit the crossbar. But I think, uh, you know, we have, a, we have a plan in place that we, um, that we need to execute and try to tire them out. And that's when we need to strike and... Uh, you know, I don't think, uh, you know, we had too many chances to, to get to their net. So I think, uh, you know, it's just a matter of, you know, it's not something that you, you practice too often, but, uh, you know, it's to, you know, I guess watch a little video or, uh, you know, just discuss the, um, you know, the options that we have because, uh, you know, getting those points, um, you know, when you do go into overtime are, are huge. Stu Gawain? Jeff, the overtime following up on that, it seemed a little tentative tonight on both sides, not as wide open as we usually see in overtime. Is it maybe getting in your guys' heads a bit, or is, it, is there maybe a little bit of nerves, the fact that you haven't won a game yet in overtime? Uh, no, I don't think it's getting in, in our heads at all. Uh, you know, Dom put in a new uh, new style that we um, that he wants us to execute on the on the three-on-three. Three. So, um, but like I said, it's uh, you don't want to force something because, you know, it's one missed shot that comes around the boards. It's a uh, Odd men rush the other way. So, um, you know, it's just about making making smart decisions and, um, you know, making sure you don't force something that's going to turn into an odd man rush on the way back. Et Jonathan Bernier. Yeah, Jeff, uh, still about the overtime. Do you feel that the Canucks, uh, they, they, they read the, the plan? I mean, they were uh, changing up quickly. They never got caught off, uh, off guard or a, a, a tire on the ice. Um, yeah, I mean, I think, uh, you know, there was times where, you know, we, I think, um, you know, there's one shift I remember they, that we got them uh, caught out there. And then when we kind of circled back, uh, we were, we allowed one of them to change. And so it's, uh, you know, it's a new style that we're, that we're trying to execute. So, um, you know, we need to, 
you know, I guess the experience of playing that or to review it a bit more. Thank you, Jeff. Merci beaucoup.